our next guest is an incredibly talented actress, director, producer, and game show host. You know her from the Pitch Perfect and Hunger Games movies, and now she is starring in the new series, Mrs. America. Elizabeth Banks, thank you for joining us from your home this morning. Good to see you, Elizabeth. We know you're at home with your husband, your two young sons, so how are you guys doing in quarantine? What's going on? Hey, uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're hanging in there, uh, playing a lot with our dog, uh, homeschooling, of course. Uh, I did not learn Singapore math, and I'm learning it now with my <laughs> first year, and I have no idea what's happening at the time. It's been, um, you know, I've, I, I uh, go back and forth between real moments of gratitude for this family time together and, and other moments, you know, just going crazy like everyone. Yep, just like us, just like us, Elizabeth. Now let's talk about Mrs. America. For those who don't know, this is a show about the fight to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment back in the 1970s. You play Jill Ruckelshaus, who was often called the Gloria Steinem of the Republican Party. How much did you know about her before you took on this role? I didn't know really anything about Jill Ruckel's house. I was a little bit familiar with her husband, Bill, who was part of Nixon's um, Saturday Night Massacre. But other than that, I, I knew nothing about her. And I was it was really fascinating to learn about the movement through her eyes and through how um, she approached it. She was a very prominent Republican. She and her husband both, they were in the inner circle in Washington, D.C. In the, in the early 70s. And she was very much a feminist um, who believed in women's equality and, and fought for the Equal Rights Amendment alongside uh, a lot of Democratic women and the libbers, as they were called, in the day. So much history and drama playing out in this series. Let's take a clip and we'll talk on the backside. Let's watch. They're just trying to get a fair shake. They want to go to work, get paid, go home. They're not asking to be harassed, manhandled, degraded, assaulted. You're so angry. Well, with only one state you. ratified in over two years, even with White House support and the $5 million check from Congress, it must be terribly frustrating for you. You want to get ahead climbing on the shoulders of men, Phyllis? Fine. Just know they're looking right up your skirt. All right. I mean, the, Elizabeth, the cast is just stacked here. So many talented actors. Was there anyone that you were especially in awe of working with? Well, you know, oh, goodness. First of all, it's an amazing cast. But on my first day, my first scene was with Margot Martindale, who I absolutely adore. Um, I had been a huge fan of hers. I was so nervous to go to set and meet her. And I thought, oh, I better know all my lines. <laughs> And then I got there, and she couldn't have been more delightful. We uh, we started singing, like making up show tunes on the first day, and singing with each other. And I just knew we were going to be fast friends from there on out. And it was like that with every single person in the cast. We we just fell in love with each other. Um, it was great. I love that. And you know what else I love? Season two of Press Your Luck. No whammies. That was like my childhood. So this is so exciting that it's coming back again. You obviously wear a lot of hats very well. Did you ever imagine one of them would be game show host? <laughs> Do you know when you just asked me that question, I thought to myself, yes, I think I would have been a good game show host. <laughs> um, I... You know, it is really fun to give away other people's money to really <laughs> deserve other people. Um, it's so fun. Pressure like it, like you, Amy. I I loved it growing up. I would come home after school and watch the No Whammies. I'm, it's really fun to be a part of. Season two is bonkers. We we give away a lot of money and um, a lot of prizes. And I just had the greatest time with um, with all of the contestants. Well, season one was a hit. Of course, season two is going to be a hit as well. And, and we know we always see you in front of the camera, but it marks five years, your, your directorial debut of Pitch Perfect 2. And you cast Robin Roberts, our Robin Roberts, as a former Belle. And you also cast me in the last Charlie's Angels movie. So thank you for that. I'm, I'm curious, <laughs> is there anyone that you wanted in one of your films and you couldn't get? You know, uh, well, Robin was top of the list for the the sort of former Bellas in Pitch Perfect 2, but we we reached out also to Condoleezza Rice, um, who's the <laughs> former Secretary of State, and um, I remember ta we got we actually got a hold of her office, and she was interested in doing it, and of course we were casting it maybe three four weeks out, and she said, "Well, I'm available in seven months," 
(laughs) (laughs) Right. You have to get on those people's calendar really early on. She was, you know, speaking at some global conference in Africa or something actually important and was not available to actually play a role in my silly movie. But, um, yeah, that was, it was really fun to even have the opportunity to talk to her office about something like that. Well, it's fun. It's, it's great to have opportunity to talk to you this morning, Elizabeth. Thank thank you so much. Always great to see you and the hanging there with the family and the homeschooling and the math. We understand, <laughs> we understand the pain, the finale. <laughs> The finale of Mrs. America is available today, and you can catch up on the whole series on FX on Hulu. And season two of Press Your Luck premieres Sunday night at 9 p.m. right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.